time is a river, a river of energy. And the river can be an exciting river with top speeds that moves you through all of these things. Or the river can be nice and slow with you laying in the boat, the boat gently rocking, knowing that the waters are safe. All of this can be contained within the sense of time. The moment you feel that there is anything that takes you out of that exciting river or that takes you out of that silent, relaxing river, it is your essence indicating to you through your sense of time that you are not in alignment with the reality around you. And this also means in a perfect scenario with 144 activated strands that some of your energy strands, 12 to be precise, connected to the sense of time, are out of whack, are not in line with what your essence around you, inside of you, everywhere, wants to generate. And then you can either try fitting into a life where you continuously run or continuously are affected by time that you now see as something separate from you, or you start to make these changes. Making these changes, once and for all, is what your next few days, or let's say your next few weeks maybe, should be about. This holographic information, as presented in a patterning of 144 eventually, is not simply something that is outside of you. It is something that you connected to and that you are co-creating. Meaning that to truly be this information, to truly resemble this hologram of new earth, and what you want to be within that, is to take these steps. You have asked for it, my dear friends. You have wanted change to come. Well, change is here. In the words of a famous Saint Germain, I would say, yes, we can. And it is, this is indeed true. Yes, you can. Yes, you can finally make those changes. You can finally let go of the things that bother you. You can finally allow yourself to be brave enough to do this. You can finally allow yourself to start living, to start existing. Fear around the lack of money? Fuck it. Fear around the lack of food? Fuck it. Wanting cigarettes but you ran out and you don't have any money to buy some new? Fuck it. Stop accepting that this is how reality works. Working with a sense of time has a very strong impact on your relationship to money. You know that money is not really energy. Money is simply a reflection of your energy. So, think about this for a minute. The quicker your sense of time moves, the more money you need. Because that is how this reality is set up. The more time passes, the more money you need. The quicker time passes, the more of a budget you will need to suffice the passing of that time. If you can become perfectly aligned with your sense of time, you will begin to understand that that is what you will emit and since money is connected strongly to time, that is how you have set it up, yes? It simply will start to align with you. As you align with time, so the reflection of your own energy in this construct of a reality called money will also start to align with you. This sense of time and slowing it down will also allow you to regain more control 
of things such as age because that is something that most of you are still struggling with. A sense of time can help you move through a reality that you no longer choose. Consider these senses as attributes, really. Consider these senses as attributes of reality. When you are in a reality moment, where you are in lack of time, let's say, or are in an expansion of time within the frequential range, an example of that would be to have a disease, for instance, that is going to be affecting the way how your reality continues. You can choose the sense of time as an attribute and apply it to the reality that you no longer choose. So let's say that, for instance, you are suffering from a disease or you are suffering from a type of lack. You have the power, once you start to understand the sense of time, to attribute to that reality a certain time slot and then to move out of it. To move out of that reality, to let it go. Your sense of direction will help you on that path. And as you begin to understand your sense of thinking, you will begin to notice that all you have to do is to start looking for areas within yourself where those thoughts exist. Because that is what navigates you to that reality eventually that you want to perceive rather than the one that you are currently perceiving. This is the most simple way to explain to you how you work with your DNA and how effective working with your DNA truly is. How completely interactive this whole experience really is. Think about it, would you ever, if you were to be a computer programmer, would you ever want to design a computer game that is restrictive? Or would it be your wish? That one that is out there right now that is on the verge of creating real artificial intelligence. The one that is out there right now that is on the verge of breaking through the barrier of matter and energy. The one who has combined science, technology and biology together in their head and are about to come up with a wonderful way to finally move one object of matter to another place in space-time. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. Do you finally get that this reality begs you to be interactive with you? Your sense of time coupled with the attribute of acceleration will give you the breakthrough that you need will allow you to understand that nothing here really needs to be restricted and that you have control over that. An important thing to mention when you truly start to work with these things is that you are going to feel that aspects of your frustration want to keep you out of the big things in your life. For the longest time you have searched to change things within you, but when it came down to certain aspects, certain repetitive gestures within your own nature that you simply did not want to look at, these are the things that I challenge you now to look at. These are the fields where you really should start practicing the things. Stop with the small, stop with the little experimentation, stop with wanting to change the digital clock on your microwave often and then to think that you have a certain purpose or a certain sense of control within your reality stop trying to walk through walls stop trying to to break through to the next level but really begin looking at the big things that are still hampering you in your reality those are the most important eddies that you will find in your river of time and when you can straighten those out the more direct and directed you can let that sense of time that river of time become 
the more easy it will be.